Hi guys, welcome to a baby up video. A baby update video. It's been a good while. It's been, yeah, it's been like 11 weeks. We've been far too unorganized with all of it. Life. Apologies. Like we were saying, we've spent all these years trying to get pregnant so we can record something other than like trying to conceive an IVF. And here we are pregnant and we're slacking on the videos. Yeah, we're really slacking. I really hate myself. <laughs> so, the last thing you saw, we were 13 weeks pregnant. So we had the private scan at mm -hmm. 13 weeks, which is a nuchal scan. And then we did the vlog in Basingstoke yeah. when we were 13 weeks as well. I was looking at prams and stuff. Ooh, things have developed since then. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm 24 weeks pregnant. So you can see how long it's been since we've actually sat and done an It's like 11 weeks, right? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, good, good maths. Well done. So yeah, we're really behind. 12 weeks, I stopped feeling nauseous. That is like the main thing. Like I, throughout the first trimester, I felt nauseous all the way through pretty much from like seven weeks. I was never actually sick, just felt very sick. Yeah. I kind of like slowed down at 10 weeks and finished at 12. And I also stopped taking my estrogen tablets mm -hmm. at 12 weeks as well, didn't I? Yeah, which you were very happy about. It was kind of just another- Three times a day, wasn't it? And it was just <laughs> another like check off the list of things to stop which were pre-pregnancy start, like if that makes mm. sense, like it was just something else to tick off the list that yeah. we didn't have to do anymore. I did carry on taking Prontogest though until we was meant to stop at 15 weeks and wean down from 12, but we stopped at 14 weeks because we didn't actually have enough to carry on until 15 weeks yeah. and the doctor said it was fine. We did think it would be okay and we weren't actually, mm. a lot of people get really stressed in that stage of stopping mm. IVF medication and actually we were we were alright. Really right. chill about it. We just wanted to but stop. I think. We, it was also because at the 13 week scan at Harley Street, mm -hmm. she'd done a blood, they'd done a blood test and she'd confirmed that my placenta was doing everything it should and I didn't need to take them. So she said I could have stopped at 13 weeks. But we just but carried, we carried on. on. So we both, well you said that that stage between 12 weeks and 14 weeks was a little bit strange because the nausea would stop, mm -hmm. like most of the kind of pregnancy symptoms would yeah. stop. Didn't have a bump yet, I just kind of felt normal, but was pregnant. Yeah, it was what a bit weird. What a weird sensation. Was it, was it only until 14 weeks? Well, no, actually, it's probably longer, but just oh, like yeah, yeah. we went up to then. But that Cut. kind of instigated where I was, we tried to keep ourselves distracted a little bit. We went <laughs> away for a weekend and things, but I am like a child and I get really like focused on something and mm. like impatient. No, I do. I kind of mm. strut like a kid when I want something. And yeah. I really, really wanted another scan. So this was going to be the longest between scans that we'd had. From 13 weeks, we were trying to wait till 20 weeks at the NHS one. Yeah, right. Clearly trying being the operative word and we didn't do it. <laughs> and then we was 16 weeks. Yeah. And was it on the day? It was on the day. And I was just like, I want a scan. <laughs> and I was just lay there and I was like, I'd been looking a few days before for like browsing and Lucy was... Trying really hard to stop me from... We're not trying really hard. <laughs> I was not trying hard at all. You were like, like if you want one, we can go for one. Yeah, but it's a lot of money. So yeah. we looked at somewhere that we hadn't been before and there was this scan available and I was just like, I'm going to book it. Okay. I had no idea what to expect because this was at Ultrasound. Ultrasound Direct it was. And we'd never used it before. Right, we were being a bit snobby and went to Harley Street. <laughs> yeah, like we can afford that. <laughs> we can. <laughs> and I liked the service that they could... They emailed you like with the pictures, the, some videos, which we never got. We've obviously been able to see the videos and gone home with pictures, but to have them in a digital format. Yeah, and just like... And the videos. Yeah, they're good. They're we really good. good videos. And she didn't rush it at all, which is what no. I liked. Like, they've never I thought she would because it. it was the last of the day and they were going home. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it was really good. I was really impressed. We're going to put some footage in here. Yes. So you can see our little dude at... 16 weeks and he was super active. Yeah, and he was, he was booting me. I couldn't feel him at this point, but he was booting yeah, me. Yeah, that was weird. He was so cute. Enjoy this bit anyway. How 
wow, stinking cute yeah really cute oh, i can't man. i can't tell you how many times we've watched them videos i watch it at least once a day <laughs> so there was one one clip where his feet cross over like this and he kicks and i just lost it and that's when i cried in the scan and every time we watch it <laughs> i just my eyes just fill up i don't know what it is about this kid's feet but like it makes you cry. it makes me cry and i did say yeah. at this point because he's kind of curled up, mm. head down, like he's trying to practice doing a headstand. It just reminded me of when like I work in the NICU and you get them little pen babies that are on their tummy and they kick their bum in the air and then they cross, <laughs> they cross their legs over. And you could just see and it. And I could just see it. I could like picture him as being a baby, a little human being, yeah. yeah. And it, yeah. it just makes me cry. <laughs> and you did say the weirdest point of that was the fact that we could see he was so active. Like proper moving like as you've just said and not being able to feel it yeah that was insane it was yeah now i can feel it and she did the four, <laughs> she did the 4d bit too yeah 3d 3d Th yeah 3d because 4d is the move the video she did the 3d bit which um, we can put picture there yeah we can put a picture in thank you <laughs> <laughs> like chilling it was chilling. chilling it's like one of my favorite pictures yeah it's my phone lock <laughs> screen and it has been since 16 weeks yeah it's a good one. 17 weeks we had, i just started feeling him move yeah I so it was like little butterflies yeah. like really quite low down felt like that kind of like bubbles popping i said yeah and then yeah i wasn't quite sure what it was initially and then after a couple of days i was like i wonder if this is him they did say it'll start to feel like gas yeah like popping inside you and that's why you weren't sure whether it was mm. like just what it Gats. was um, but no it was him <laughs> it was him moving and then it's kind of got gradually each as each week passes it kind of get got a bit more and a bit more it made you feel more confident that it was him right yeah exactly it's so reassuring as well yeah like the difference in our anxiety like not even anxiety because we were anxious but like you don't know between scans before movement so it's everything's okay yeah but when you can feel him moving every day, you're like, yeah. <laughs> you feel a lot more confident, for sure. So at 19 weeks is when I first felt him kick. So and we both cried. Yeah, we both cried. <laughs> we just lay there with my hand on your tummy and- In bed, yeah. It was the smallest little yeah. movements. And it was in, it was incredible. Yeah, you have to put, you have to put like a bit of pressure yeah. on. My muscles. arm was aching so much <laughs> because I was like pushing quite not hard but not hard, but like pressing against yeah. it. Yeah, like I've got a bit of podge to get through to get to my tummy. <laughs> so yeah, no, that was. But that was amazing. And um, yeah, I just sobbed. Was that at night time the first time? Yeah, I think it was at night time. We was in bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I just cried. We both cried. Yeah, we just looked at each other. <laughs> we cried lots. Yeah, emotional. I don't know yeah. what my excuse is, but she's got pregnancy hormones. I've got sympathy pregnancy hormones. Yeah, you do. <laughs> and 19 weeks is when your bump started to pop a little bit as well, wasn't yeah. it? Like, I think it had been there for a little while, but to be honest, I do just look like podge to me. Yeah. And at 19 weeks, I was. it was actually the point where I looked at it and thought, I'm just getting a bit rounder. <laughs> Looking a bit more like a bump and not just fat. And it was harder. It was yeah. harder up at the up top here. area. We'll show you. We'll show you what I look like now. Don't you worry. You'll get a bump shot. Next, we had the twenty-week scan, which was at the the hospital, hospital, and I was allowed to go. It's the first NHS one that she's been able to come to. So COVID had changed all the rules, hadn't it, in terms of um, partners being allowed to go to scans and appointments. So I'd only been to the private ones, which was fine, mm -hmm. because we were lucky enough to be able to book the private ones. Yeah. If we hadn't, I don't know how I'd have coped. But I loved you being at this one. It was, yeah, it was, it was just amazing. We were just to sit and just stare, at like him. stare at him and just see all the measurements that the, the um, sonographer did. Yeah. And then he was being a pest and he wouldn't cooperate <laughs> yeah. for some of them. So I had to go marching around the uh, waiting room for, yeah. for him to move. And were, you, were you nervous for this gun? Um, I don't think I was nervous. Like, I think I was and I wasn't like... Obviously, it's the anomaly scan, isn't it? So, mm. if something was wrong in terms of his measurements or whatever, yeah. then that would have been when it was found. But I don't know. No, I, I think I was nervous, but I wasn't. Because I remember myself. the it was, whereas I was the other scans, I've been more shitting myself. 
because we'd been able to feel him, I think for mm. that reason it was like... A bit more reassuring? Yeah. I was surprisingly more chill than I expect. I thought I was mm. going to be. I was in the waiting room, I was a little bit nervous, but not mm. nothing like I have been previously. It's so nice being able to feel excited no, and less terrified. nervous between scans. Yeah. Like, the difference, it, it, it's just nice. And I'm putting that all down to his movements. Yeah. Um, everything was fine at the 20 week scan. All the measurements were perfect after Lucy did some squats in the week. Um, he still didn't move, so she had to lie on her side and... Mm -hmm. He was like this, wasn't he? You know, like, yeah, he's always got his hands by his face. He likes his hands by his face. So when we've got this 4D scan books in in a couple of weeks, better move his hands by his face. <laughs> So we're now 23 plus 6. Yeah, so 20, 24 tomorrow. And his movements have gotten so strong. Like, it makes me jump sometimes. Mm -hmm. And, like, when he rolls, <laughs> it is the weirdest feeling in the world. I sometimes she'll go, oh, what was this? <laughs> and then you'll be like... <laughs> I've got And like, you, can see, you can see my belly moving yeah. outside. Sometimes it can be just, like, in your peripheries. Is that like peripheral right? vision? Yeah. yeah, and you just like you're seeing Dump. something and you just see the tummy go ooh, or, ooh <laughs> like this. Yeah. Which is cool. Just telling we love him so much whilst he's kicking and I feel like he already knows that he, he's She talks to him through my belly button. <laughs> I'm convinced. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> oh. That's the way that he hears through the belly button, right? I'm playing she music got, every night. She hasn't got an outie yet. I don't think I'll get an outie. <laughs> Lucy's belly button was like, what was the song? Into the Unknown. No. <laughs> My singing is on point. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> anyway, so now, symptoms that you have now? Um, it's mainly like acid refluxy kind of. If I eat too late, or if I lie down after I've eaten. Or if you eat too many carbs. Or which... if I eat too many carbs, or if I don't eat enough. <laughs> Basically, I've got acid reflux and it's killing me. But on a whole, are you enjoying pregnancy? Yeah. Especially this second trimester. Like, first trimester, nausea, anxiety. Blood. I've bled through it all. Not had any bleeding since 11 weeks. Yeah. That's the best. That is a, that's, that's the best news. Yeah, that should have been an update at the beginning. I've completely blanked that out of my mind. But nothing since 11 weeks. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> I've completely lost my train of thought. You enjoying pregnancy? I'm enjoying pregnancy. I like this I like this trimester and not feeling too awful and being able to move and like, being yeah. able to move. You've not moved off the sofa much. <laughs> but okay. <laughs> yeah, but when I'm big and round, I'm not going to be able to yeah, move. Like I, I can move. Mean. I'm just live in the sloth life because <laughs> I've, still, I've still got as you remember we said about my heart there's still problems with all stuff going on around that which we'll film another video on just updating you on everything to do with that otherwise this is going to end up too long mm -hmm. so I'm tired because of that as well yeah but on the whole I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying seeing we'll reassess that in the third trimester <laughs> and I'm loving her boobs <laughs> they are cracking. They're, yeah. they're just they're just big in there and until he's here they're still mine, right? <laughs> they have definitely grown. I remember like last year we I accidentally bought a bra that was a couple of sizes too big for me. I was like, I'll keep it for I'm pregnant. Put it on, it only does fit me. <laughs> I was fantastic. like, what is this? It's great, but they do get in the way of you. Like when sometimes when you're turning over, you're trying to lean down, your yeah, tummy and beats are in the way. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it's great. Should, 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 should we do a bum shot? Yeah. Bum shot. Look, he's there. He is there. <laughs> looks even bigger when you take your top up. Love it. Nice and round. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I love him. With the boobs. <laughs> the boobs are big. I like her in the, I like her in these tops because I think it shows her bump more than her man's t-shirts that she wears. Yeah, rather than the black queen vest tops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm well, I'm not getting dressed that often to be fair. So I will uh, I'll let her dress me for when we do. But um, mm. should we end this one? Yeah. So glad you um, finally got an update and hope you enjoyed it. And now you're caught up to date. Give it a big thumbs up. And, and also, wait, if we do get behind again, follow us on Instagram because that is where we keep Yeah, it. and it is up <laughs> We're to very date. good. 
Right. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. -bye.